Hello there, it's JG here with Earth 5D, back for another Pick a Card reading, where you are the light, you're the path and the way forward, friend. This reading is grounded in love, in the light of consciousness, okay? So we are here today looking at your person's top three thoughts of you on their mind. What are the top three thoughts of you on their mind? most dominant top three thoughts of you on their mind okay we have three piles to choose from pile one here is the eight of wands pile two is the ace of discs the ace of coins and pile three is the knight of cups okay so you want to choose a pile that speaks to you or two piles or even all three okay friends we're also going to do an extended reading today we are going to look at guidance from spirit on this connection, what's blocking you, and then guidance. If you feel like you're blocked, or you just want some extra spiritual guidance, we're gonna do that in the extended reading. So without further ado, let's get into pile one, friends. All right, pile one, welcome to your reading. I'm so happy you're here today. We are gonna be looking at the person's top three dominant thoughts of you. You chose the Eight of Wands. So there's a lot of passion here. This person is seeking forward movement. And so that is definitely a part of their top of mind thoughts, their dominant thoughts, is that they're thinking about talking to you. They're thinking about passion. And they're thinking about forward, quick, rapid forward movement. Okay. So I'm gonna pull all the cards out and pull the top three sort of energies out of the combination of cards. I'm sure I'll have some comments along the way, <laughs> okay? So we have the Magician. Start us off here, the Magician. We have the Ten of Swords. So your person has been definitely manifesting in an ending to difficult times here, okay? We have the Six of Wands. Definitely a victory here. Definitely wanting forward, victorious movement. We have the King of Pentacles. I love this deck. I think it's called the White Sage Tarot. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look at the case again. I haven't used it in years. I absolutely love it. We have the World card. You are this person's world, I can tell you that. This person is very grounded. This person is very well off, well to do. This person is interested in success. We have the nine of wands. This person is interested in the long haul, taking it for the long haul, investing, really standing guard, standing their ground on this connection. They're not giving up, they're not backing down. We see engagement here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Cool. We have the box, shadow work. There are no shadows without light. <laughs> That's funny, because it's usually there's no, there's, without light, there are no shadows, I think. Um, yeah, that's the way I've heard it, but I mean, this is the reverse. So there are no shadows without the light. Interesting. So your person is definitely doing some shadow work. That's very predominant energy. I can tell you that. We have lighten up. There we go. I love that. Angel aura quartz. Look at that. I would love some of that. I don't have any. have to look that up online. Angel aura for it. Looks very inviting. And we have friendship. Set your soul, um, seek your out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time uh, socializing. Okay. This person has a lot of friends. Okay, their world is made up of, it's a rich world that they're in. They have a lot of friends. They have um, a lot of engagements with their job. 
They have a lot of things that aren't important to them that they are guarding. So I think part of their shadow work here is to evaluate their world, okay? And they're doing some shadow work at this time and you are definitely bumping up against that in your connection because it's coming out here in your reading. So it's important to know that, that you know, your person is engaged in looking at, you know, what it is inside of them that they don't understand. So shadow work can consist of many different things. It's a broad term, right? But I, I feel like your person is, you know, seeking more awareness in their outer world in terms of like their wealth, their prosperity, their behaviors uh, externally in the social light, the social world. It's not like an inner, they're not searching so much in the shadows within as what shadows are like not, what shadows are being cast externally in my outer world. Okay, so that's a piece of what I'm seeing here, this top of mind for your person. Now, when that comes to you, how does that apply to you, pile one? This person, you and your person might know each other socially, okay? Uh, you don't have to, it's a general reading. But if you just know your person because of work or some social situation, the neighborhood, the community, an online community, you know, something, something where it's, there's many people sharing their worlds together. You know, this person is call, being called to seek you out because you are lightening up. You're bringing light into some of this shadow connections that they have. So their top three thoughts when it comes to you is rapid movement, ending difficult times, Okay. and committing and engaging in this energy with you of stability and success. So I don't see any cup energy here. Okay, So you might, in this phase of your connection with your person, you might ha not have like a huge romance going on. You know, Some of you will, many of you won't. Oops, excuse me, if you chose uh, one. Some of you will, many of you won't, okay? And if you just pile one here, it's, I feel like it's, you're being, you're on the cusp of this, okay? And so your friendship and your connection is lightening this person's world up. That's what they're thinking. They're thinking, did I manifest pile one? Because there's such a, a, a light in my life, you know? And so they're committed to, they're committed to like falling in love with you, okay? So there is this engagement piece, right? There is this love life piece, okay? And I just don't know how far you've gotten deep into that yet. It'll depend on your own situation because there's so many of you here. But yeah, that's what they're thinking about is how can I commit to this, make this commitment to you, Pile One? How can I um, lighten up our connection and how can I move it forward into a more passionate situation? The a secondary sort of energy here is really wanting to protect this connection, really wanting to invest in it, and really um, it being at the center of their world. Okay, you and whatever you guys have together is at the center of their world. Okay, anything else, Spirit? So it's important also to know that this person is manifesting you. They they did. They did manifest you, and they do want to manifest any difficult times that you guys have experienced where they've sort of sabotaged, inadvertently sabotaged your connection. And some of you, you might not even have that. You know, it might not be part of the connection. But for, for some of you here, it's the shadow work. They're looking at, like, they're looking at their world and their social patterns and their friendships, and they're wondering how they're in, how they're engaging with people because you're helping them sort of see things in a new way in a lighter a lighter way. So for many of you also, you are the King of Cups. Like I'm sorry, I said King of Cups. That's so interesting. So so that's a Freudian, right? So for for many of you, you're full of love for this person. 
and they're coming in in a more practical way. Okay, and their practical way and their the way that they are right now is just like an entry point for your connection. So Pawan, that is what I'm seeing here. So are you at the center of their world? Yes. Do they want fast forward movement? Yes. Are they struggling with some shadow work? Absolutely, they're reevaluating their world, their friendships, but they're standing ground. They want an end to difficult times. They want an end to pain and suffering. They want an end to overthinking. For some of you, and this is super random, but I'm, it's really coming through for some of you, they want to end like an engagement with somebody else. Because of what you guys are growing and what you guys are nurturing, that's for some of you. I think a lot of you are going to pick pile one today. It's not a very common pile, <laughs> but yeah. So, summary, top three thoughts. You're lightening up this person's world. You're bringing a lot of passion that they are feeling and experiencing to push the relationship forward to a deeper commitment. You are at the center of their world and they are reevaluating like their social friendships right now because they want this victory here in this connection. And they think you're a very victorious person and they see your, um, your stability also and your wealth and your full heart. And you know, it's something that they wanna protect and look after. Okay, so let's get some charms. Then we will move on to, if you'd like, the extended reading where we will get guidance from spirit and we will get, you know, what's blocking you. Okay. So, there's a storm brewing here in Florida. There's a tropical storm coming through. So we have this fire truck. We have the number eight. So there's a, I can't quite overestimate the amount of passion there is here, right? So there is that sexual energy, there's that passion, and that is definitely prominent, friends. Definitely prominent, definitely part of it. Part of the equation. You might think I'm not, you know, bringing that forward, and, and I am, it's just more of a secondary energy. This is the year when ingenuity stands high on the list. I think this person might want to work with you, do a project with you. Maybe you're already doing that. So the, like the bell has rung. You have really grabbed this person's attention. We have 11, eight. So it could be right now, friends, that in, on August 11th, something very significant happens. It also could be uh, November 8th. It could be that you are 19 years old. Could be that, that you were born on the 19th or someone was born on the 19th. Someone's November, someone's August, someone's Leo. There's a lot of fire here, okay? Um, Scorpio energy as well. So, you know, your person who's this frog prince, right? It, it just could feel like your person is a frog, okay? <laughs> but there's a prince under there. There's a prince under there. All right, Paul, and I'm going to close the energy now and, and end the reading, but I hope it has assisted you. And if it has, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and never miss a video. Connect with all of our energy here at Earth 5D. And drop a comment below. I'm very interested in how this has impacted you. If you need a, uh, your own private reading, I'm actually going to do a, um, a Lionsgate discount. So I'm going to do a 15% discount on all my products and services on my website so you'll see the lion's gate code to enter for that discount if you're looking for a meditation a reading a coaching session i will make that available on my website it is li linked down below and i'll see y'all over in the extended if you so desire so much love and light pile one take good care Okay, here we are at pile two. Welcome to your reading. You guys chose the Ace of Coins. Hope you are doing well today. I'm gonna clear the energy from pile one. So I'm feeling a bit of fear here um, in your person's thoughts. So let's see what's going on. So this person, uh, we're looking at their 
you know, their dominant three thoughts of you. So with the Ace of Coins, we know that there's a new beginning here, okay? We know that there's a new grounded beginning here. We know that there's an opportunity here for something new and something that's secure, grounded. Now I am sensing a bit of fear around that. So let's scoot that aside so we can get through all the other energies. So we have the Three of Swords here, so yeah. Person has just had like quite a bit of pain in the past, and that's what I'm catching here. We have the Queen of Swords. Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. Some fierce energy coming out. We have the Three of Wands. So you might have broken this person's heart. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands. Or someone who's an air sign might have broken this person's heart. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. It might not have been you. Okay, general reading, take what resonates. And the Ten of Cups, wow. Nice big shift in energy throughout the reading here. So yeah, um, your person is You know, healing a wounded heart, I can tell you that, number one. Number one. Okay, yeah, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, so in a past life, gives us a clue here. It's like in a past life, there's been hurt. And I feel like you have a chance to do it over again here. We have lions. We have honor your soul and celebrate its journey. So it is the lion's gate right now. It is a um, timeless reading, but... The lion is coming out, I believe, in honor of the lion's gate. We have turquoise, prioritize your health, mental health, I'm feeling. And then we have delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. God, that's beautiful. That is your message. So I'm telling you, Pile 2, that message is for you. So you can expect the best. I feel like that energy could quite possibly be yours. And your person picking up on that about you. You could be a queen of swords. So you might have Libra energy or any of the other air signs. And you could be coming out of brokenheartedness. Okay. And either had a connection in this life a lot of times we say from a past life meaning like 10 years ago um or it could literally be a past life from another lifetime you know um you have known each other before and so you're you're connecting your person is is sensing this hurt and it's a reminder what they're thinking in the top of their mind is to count your blessings okay so you two are mirroring each other in that to count your blessings right now because you can expect the best. I've heard people in corporate America say, expect good intent. And I'm thinking, you know, the cynical side of me is like, are you kidding? These people are snakes. But at the same time, isn't that a matter of perception? So um, there's, really, there's really something positive here that you can delight in. And so you two are mirroring each other in that it's really difficult in this reading to tell the difference between you and them which is unusual. But I'm telling you, it's like you guys are blended. So, um, there was heartache in the past, whether it was from this lifetime or another. So if you're picking up on that, you're not crazy. Your person's experiencing that too, but their, their top of mind thought here is that they, they want to expect the best from this connection. That there's obvious romance here. Okay, and they want to expect the best. And you are you have moved sort of into your Queen of Wands energy. You are currently being represented as the Queen of Wands. So you're in your power. Um, you've prioritized your health. You're planning for a positive future of like total love here, Ace of Cups. And so your person's thinking that this love they feel for you, this 
a two aces this new beginning they're feeling with you is beautiful ten of cups they want this in their life they want to celebrate the journey that your two souls have been through and say yes yes it's been painful in the past yes i've had some fears in the past but look this is a whole new opportunity so it's quite the story that i'm seeing here pile two it's like they're expecting the best that's their top of mind feelings because they see you prioritizing their health they see you as magnetic they see you as completely beautiful and attractive and full of love and they want this new beginning with you no matter how much fear they've had in the past no matter what's happened to them they want to be in this it could have been a mind shift in the connection where you just went from pain to opportunity. We see the Three of Swords turning into the Three of Wands. We went from suffering to um, delight. So what a strange energy, right? Suffering from, to delight. But look at it. It's celebrating the journey. It's celebrating the movement forward. So this person can't help but notice that. So to summarize, you know, number one, their thoughts. They recognize this past relationship remembrance of you they recognize that it's heartache but they've now second thing they recognize the health and the and the magnetism and the beauty and the success of these new beginnings that they see between the two of you so they're expecting the best they're expecting ten of cups happiness and they want to honor the journey that your souls their two souls have been on so very deep right they want to honor the journey your two souls have been on Amen to that, right? Um, so yeah, they see this this passion you have. They see the planning that you have invested in yourself. This love and your cup is overflowing, pile two, and they're connected to that, and they they appreciate that, and that's something that they want. So the Ten of Cups, they want this. They want to honor this connection. They want to honor and celebrate this journey in this new beginning with you, Pile Two. So that's what they're that's what they're thinking about. And no matter what you've been through, if there hasn't been any pain or suffering between the two of you, and it's like you've gone through past lives of pain and suffering, they they remember a connection where it was new, where they can love. And so they, they're feeling this love for you. They're feeling this expansion in their heart. They're feeling an expansion to have a family. They're feeling honor. They want to honor you. And this overwhelming, you know, healthy love. So this is a heart expansion pile two. That's what I'm seeing. So let's get your charms, and then I'm going to go to the extended reading and look at some blocks. So it, it, look at the blocks and then get you some spiritual guidance, because if you feel like you're still stuck in that three of swords, let's find out what that's about. Top three thoughts this person has about their dominant thoughts. Okay, we have an A, an S, a B. This could be initials, country, ac like acronyms, country, letters of countries, wisdom here. So this past life feels like Atlantean, take what resonates. We have this unicorn energy, very magical to this person with this, also this beautiful purple dolphin. There's some very lighthearted energy coming through too. So it's def definitely like a juxtaposition here of remembering heaviness from the past and really moving beyond that. So there's love here. And there's throat chakra opening. There's a conversation that will be had coming out of the shell, a conversation based in wisdom. We have a three and a two, adding to a five, so it could be a Taurus birthday. Um, we could be looking at February or March birthdays. We could be looking at being 32 years old or 23, being born on the third or the second of the month. Life path five, 
having a three or a two in your life path. Oh, those are off camera, aren't they? Sorry. Um, yeah, so a lot of clues here, a lot of insights here. So there is um, communication coming. And that's, this is about an abundance of love. So I do, I do sense this fear, okay, but there's also this layer and, and beautiful love that they have where they want to honor this, this familial place where there's magic, where there's new beginnings, and that's very dominant too, where they expect the best. Okay, pile two, so I'm going to close the energy and leave it there. And But if you'd like to pick up in the extended, we'll get some guidance from Spirit and look at what could be blocking this. And friends, thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. I care about your perception, what this means to you. Um, get what you've gotten from this reading and if you really love it make sure you subscribe to the channel never miss a video join our energy I'm offering 15% off for Lionsgate so use the Lionsgate code uh, on my website if you're looking for your own private reading or another service meditation spiritual guidance session and there you have it so much love and light pile too if you uh, like I'll see you over at the extended take good care All right then, friends, welcome to your reading. If you chose the Knight of Cups, happy that you're here, friends. We're looking at the top three dominant thoughts that your person has of you. I'm gonna clear the energy from re the last reading. Okay, so your person's feeling a lot of love and romance towards you with the Knight of Cups, no doubt about it. Something very masculine. I can't believe I just said that. I was not thinking that, but um, something I was gonna say magical. But yeah, this person's also um, gonna say <laughs> gonna say something very masculine and romantic while offering you a cup of love. Something very romantic. Yeah, something very magic for you is what I'm hearing. Okay, pile three. We also have the two of pentacles. So I'm gonna look at the top three dominant thoughts they have, but I'll give some commentary along the way. And have two of swords, the two of pentacles. So there's been a standstill. They've been stuck inside their thoughts, but there's some kind of forward movement where they're getting balance. We have the ace of cups. Came out in pile two as well, if you're interested, or that, that pile spoke to you. We have the nine of cups. You are a wish come true. Three of wands also came out in pile two. And three of swords, wow, also came out in pile two. Some similarities, friends. Okay. Um, yeah. So feeling a bit of heartache in my heart. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to mention that to you, that there's heartache in this person's heart, and that's the Three of Swords, but I'm going to close that energy to move on to other energies here. So, know that this person carries like a bit of heartache in their heart, and I don't see anything from the past. In Pile 2, I was seeing a whole big past life deal, um, but not that's not prevalent here in the year Pile, pile 3. Um, here, it's like, we're not seeing a long story of why, but we are seeing like that your person is getting unstuck from that. So this is pile three is like the evolution of pile two, I think in some ways. And there's balance being happening and your person's reaching out. So your person's three top of mind thoughts, they have an, uh, an overwhelming impression and understanding that you are like a wish, wish, wish come true, pile three, you are a wish come true. And they, they recognize this. And it makes them feel like this latte with this beautiful design on it. Like really happy, really warm, right? Overflowing with love and abundance. 
So they're getting balanced. They're getting unstuck, friends. They're getting unstuck, moving out of heartache. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This person's ready to embody the Knight of Cups energy to make the effort towards you. So that's, that's the other thing they're feeling uh, and thinking deeply is like, I want to put the effort into this. I want to come forward with Knight, Knight of Cups. I want to be unstuck. I'm planning for our future with you, Pile 3. We have... Awaken to your soul's potential, the golden unicorn. So your person's being healed by the golden unicorn energy. Look at this. Lots of unicorns. Partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. So partnership and unicorns. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. So yeah, they're thinking of making effort, effort to come forward and have a partnership with you. And then we have the carnelian. We have feed your creativity. Beautiful. So this person, um, they're getting fed. Your creativity is feeding them to move out of heartache. The creativity coming through this connection is feeding them to get out of heartache. And they're able to plan for a future that's very loving and warm. There's a lot of warmth coming through here, even though there's quite an indication of water with cups, cup energy. But yeah, so this one's much easier to read because there's not like 700 dynamics coming through, you know. Um, sometimes there are. So that's obviously harder to articulate in 10 minutes <laughs> in a general reading. Um, but yeah, so this one is more condensed and there's more poignant, like there's more poign poignant energies coming through in terms of like peaks, peaks of energy. So what I see here is an ascension in the potential in your connection. So your person's top of mind thoughts, dominant thought is planning for your future making the efforts, coming into balance, and overflowing with love, wanting a partnership. They're feeding their creativity. You're feeding their creativity. It's making them feel romantic, and it's, on, it's, it's um, relieving them from this crossroads, this stuck place. So they're moving into joy they're moving into partnership and love and ascension with you. And that's what they're thinking. They're feeling relief. They're feeling relief, release. Yeah. So they're feeling a new beginning in love where they want to be a partner to you, where they want to make the effort. And bring you love and romance. So that's what I see, Pile 3. Those are their dominant thoughts of you. Balance. Love. Yeah. Balance, love, romance, partnership, effort more than three but it's, it's a combination of all of that okay so that's what i'm seeing for you pile three definitely an evolution of pile two let me get um get your charms okay so they might not be related you know for all of you but if you do feel guided then go to pile two but it's not for everyone only if you feel guided Let's see. We're going to get these charms and we're going to look at more clues into their top three dominant thoughts. Top three dominant thoughts. Top three dominant thoughts. Okay. 
we have double E, an E and an E. We have the number two and the number seven. So some of you were born in 72 or 27 years old. Some of you were born in December, December 7th or the 2nd. Dinosaur. Yeah, we have like these old school heavier energies that are dissipating, that are decreasing, while the, the new ascendant energy is increasing, getting balanced. We have an N. We have this holiday magic. We have period, like an end period and a beginning period. It, it's like this little period stands for like, like when you accentuate something, that's it, period, right? They love you, period. <laughs> so we have another dragon type of energy. So definitely love, loving, friendly dragons out there. Um, so it could be that you're connecting through that dragon energy through the cosmos. This is definitely like an alien type of energy. I don't like that word. So an ET energy. We have something very heroic here in your person's heart. We have Ace of Wands as a charm. We have the peace sign. This person wants to hold up the white flag. They're feeling peace towards you and love towards you. They're feeling passion. Two aces, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. This person is definitely thinking love, partnership, effort. Person's ready to make the effort, friends. So if they've been stuck, they're ready to make the effort. They're really thinking in on that, really honing in on that. So we have, you will enjoy good health. Wonderful. So you're going to enjoy good health. That's a message for you. Attitude is more important than facts. Absolutely. So the energy you bring, what you think, your thoughts are more important than what you're hearing from the external world. Like when someone says, this is the da-da-da-da-da, and you're like, no, that's not the news that I'm picking up on. This is my facts. My attitude, like my positive attitude towards it. The way my outlook is, so your outlook is influencing your reality as it does. As you think, so you become, right? And so, yes, you're, you're having good health. Your thoughts are more clean and clear, and, and so are your persons. Yeah, so this person is in it to make the effort, this partnership, this wish come true with you. All right, pal three, so that is what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna close up the energy here, and if you'd like the extended, I'm gonna get you some advice. We'll see what's potentially blocking this. I don't think there's much here, but if there is, we'll find it. Look at the guidance, pile three, and we'll leave it there. So I hope this has assisted you. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps me, it helps the channel, and it helps me understand what you guys like. <laughs> and make sure you drop a comment below. I care about how you feel. I'm offering a 15% off Lionsgate code on my website. So if you're interested in a reading, if you're interested in a service, if you're interested in a meditation, feel free to take advantage of that Lionsgate code. And sending you all so much love and light, friends. Y'all take great care. And we'll see you at the extended if you so desire. Bye for now.